we spend so much time in the presentation of the endowment focusing on the creation of the world. Why is that significant? Why do we watch that over and over again? I had the same question. Why do I care how the earth was created? What does that have to do with my covenants? Until I read Moses chapter one, the question Moses asks, for which the answer is the story of the creation, isn't how did you make this? It's a very different question, and that is why. Why did you create the earth? And so I think that we start every endowment presentation with a reminder as to why we're here. Why did God create an earth? And the answer, long story short, is family. The very first section of the Doctrine and Covenants that was received is section two. And the Lord says, I'm going to send you Elijah to seal those families. And he says, if I don't send Elijah, the whole earth will be wasted at his coming. And I really, truly believe he was saying, if you don't seal eternal families, the whole earth was a waste. Bryce lays out how in the creation story, after every day, God says, in essence, it is good. And not at like, it's amazing, it's excellent. He just, he says, it's good, pass, check. And then it's not till the seventh day that he says, it's very good. And what was very good, what was different from that last day to the previous days is that he created man, he created husband and wife. And then to follow up, we, we aren't just told the creation over and over every time we go. We're also told the story of Adam and Eve every time we go. And we get to hear the command over and over again, multiply and replenish the earth. That's why we gave you this earth to build families, to build the eternal family. As you were explaining that, I just thought back to the family proclamation. One of the last lines in that is, we warn that the disintegration of the family will bring upon individuals, communities, and nations the calamities foretold by ancient and modern prophets. In essence, it's saying the world will be wasted. It will be a waste if we do not do what this proclamation is laying out, which is the family is the basic unit that God has given us on this earth to fulfill our purposes. And you do a very good job at, at being sensitive to those who are trying to get married, trying to have children, and not being able to and recognizing that all who keep and make covenants with God will have that opportunity, whether in this life or the next. But that is the doctrine and that is why we're here. And I would even go so far, Parker, to say, again, this is me. I don't, I would never point the finger and judge anyone this way. I just, I just look at my life. Going back to that idea that if the world lets the family disintegrate, then the calamities are gonna come because the world's gonna be wasted. I just, I, I honestly, hear him saying, and I, I have committed myself to say that if I thought something else was more important and spent my time somewhere else and allowed my family to disintegrate, then my life was a waste. I think most men who have gone down that road, even at times me as I get preoccupied in my occupation or hobbies or whatever it be, the Spirit will tell you that. It's told you that, it's told me that, that if I'm placing anything as a priority above my family, you get chastised from that Holy Ghost telling you, at least me and apparently you, that that's not why you're here. That's not the purpose. Those are good yeah. things, but don't neglect a very good thing in your life.